I'd like to begin with a small story. At 13, he's still a child himself. But Luca Baradi is already traveling the world, giving motivational speeches about how to save the planet. If previous generations haven't been able to be good stewards of our environment, then let us step up and be the generation of change. Luca believes young people can be ambassadors for the environment. And he already has experience campaigning against elephant and rhino poaching and organizing recycling projects. He must have a claim to be one of the world's youngest conservationists. He started his own organization when he was just eight years old. And now he has a mission to teach other children that it's never too early to try to save the world. His audiences are often still at school. We need children because they're the future. Well, one man war can never be won. So if we have a lot of children uh, passionate about these sort of topics, about conservation, about protecting the environment, and then that would do the planet a lot of good. Luca has travelled to Tanzania from Kenya and he knows the two countries share some environmental problems. Animals at risk of poaching, trees being cut down and cities flooded with plastic. This event in Dar es Salaam is using the arts to teach children how they can help. I am drawing the place where I live and my local environment. These are leaves, trees, birds, the sun and some houses. I'm drawing a tree. We have to look after the trees, because trees give us rain. I saw the presentation of some kids. There are even some things they knew I didn't know. Yeah, Like they told me some stuff. So if, if, if a child learns something, okay, composting or everything about waste or nature protecting and everything, if it grows in within them, they can become good ambassadors. They can practice that later on in the future. Lucas says that one of his biggest challenges has been that adults don't always take him seriously. But he knows that he and all of these children will soon grow up. And he hopes that by then, taking care of their environment will be second nature. Lucy Taylor, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.